I want to show you how you make a quick kind of solar tracker setup in 3D Studio Max. And I'm going to start off by creating a simple plane and edit it a wee bit so we can tell which way it's facing. So go to make some uh, geometry, a plane, just a simple 4x4 plane. Now let's mess around with this wee bit so we can know which way it's facing when we when we rotate it, otherwise it's not worth doing. Okay, so I'm going to use the Edit Mesh modifier and just grab some of these vertices across the top and scale them just so we've got a sloped top to it and then I need to pull out a vertex in the middle take that vertex and in the front view just push it forward you can see we've got a kind of a, a proboscis or a nose or something on the object okay bit cramped for space here for the video but hopefully you can see what's what's happening okay so that's the actual surface that we're going to try and orientate so the, the spike should be facing the sun uh, and this shape should be at the top okay um, we don't spin solar panels the uh, they basically stay you know it's kind of two axes that are kind of changing okay next thing is to uh, let's create a, a, a dummy object that will uh, help us control this so I'll just zoom in and create a dummy at that position. Um, I'm doing this pretty roughly, I'm not kind of measuring, you know, pl placing everything on absolute coordinates here, just re really quick. Okay, so that's the dummy object created. I'll just change the colour of this so you can see it a bit brighter. Okay, right, I'll zoom out a wee bit and uh, what I'm going to do now is add the, the daylight system. So on the create panel I want a system and a daylight system. It's asking whether I want to adjust the uh, the exposure settings. Yeah, just accept that. It will make your your, uh, your your renderings more accurate. So click and drag creates the compass. Then says, do you want to use a mental ray sky? Yes, because uh, if you use this, you'll you'll get the sun position in your renderings as well, which looks pretty realistic. Okay. When you click that, it's saying how far away do you want the, the sunlight daylight head to be positioned. Just drag it as far as you can. Uh, it can be adjusted later if you want to. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Uh, now, to you, you're kind of going to need to do a setup like this for each each of the the kind of solstices or equinoxes. So, what I'm going to do is is choose my time of day and get the sun to be at that level, so uh, it's, it'll allow me to, to rotate this to face the sun initially. So I'll go to the motion panel and we want to... Okay, we're on the motion panel, just forgetting my screen's a bit squashed, couldn't find where the uh, time and date settings were. You know, if you want to change your location, this is when to do it. It's got to be consistent for all your, your setups. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the, the date and month and location alone just now because you'll be putting your own in anyway. So, change the hours. I'm going to go down to 4 o'clock um, and then the minutes come up to about 50 something. Then I'll, then I'll see the other viewports. Okay, so this is the critical one. We want the sun, we want the sun to be uh, basically at dawn at that particular date and location. So just get the blue line as straight as you can. Yeah, this is going to be give or take a few degrees, so something fantastically accurate for a, a simple student sunlight study. Okay, right. So we'll set things up. What I haven't, what I haven't done is is join objects together yet. We need a we need a hierarchy set up. So I'll zoom in on the the top viewport. Now uh, this. Using the uh, link select and link tool can be a bit of a pest, especially when there's a, a daylight system in the background. It just keeps wanting to select that. So I select select and link. We'll start with the uh, our plane, and I find it easier just to call up the list of objects in the scene. It uh, kind of behaves itself that way. So it's asking me to select a parent now. Now what I've got on, I've got display children ticked in the, the display panel here. Okay. So select the dummy as the parent and link. Okay, now don't link these others together yet uh, until you've rotated this combination. Okay, so we'll rotate. 
we want to get the dummy. Dummy's a bit difficult to pick. And we'll rotate this until the point is facing up the line of the sunshine. Okay. So if I place it there, if I wanted to, I could reposition this a bit more accurately. See, when I move the dummy, the uh, the plane is moving as well. Okay, now the you, you, there's look at controllers, there's path restraints, constraints, uh, but actually the this, the daylight head already has a look at constraint in it already, uh, so you don't need to add it again. So all we need to do is really just add is link these two objects together. If I move the sun at the moment, the the object stays where it is, unless I link them together. Okay, so the dummy wants to get the daylight head as its parent. So make sure you've got dummy selected. Get the select and link tool. Press letter H on your keyboard to bring up the list. Expand the compass till you see daylight and then link. And it all should work. He says hopefully. Let's have a look here. If we go to the motion button and get the daylight head selected. Change the time and our solar panels are spinning round. Okay, keeping the keeping the angle top of the object in the right position. Okay, there's no not a twisting going on. Okay, so we're back at back at daybreak. You can then set a put auto key on, set a key for that. Go to the end of the day. So we're looking for where the sun at what time of the day the sun is back at horizontal. I should have done that first. Okay. No, I've mugged it up, hold on. It's always the same whenever you start playing around with auto key. Right, I'm gonna undo undo until those keys disappear. Right, the keys have disappeared. Okay, so back at dawn. So auto key, set my key, then move to the end of the day, then change the time. Okay, so it's coming over and over and over. Okay, we've got a bit too far down. Need to go back up a wee bit and just take off. Uh, maybe go back an hour, but then take off, take off some minutes. Keep going. Oh, I've gone too far, right? So I do need to go to 19 and take off some minutes until we get horizontal again. Set your key just to make sure you can turn auto key off now, and then. What should happen is that this is animatable. We'll just maximize that. Press play, and the panels start following the sun. It's kind of kind of weird the way it's set up. It's it's kind of opposite to the the logical way you would think. You know, the uh, the the con the look at controller is on the light. You would expect it to be on the object. So. Uh, but it works. So here's the the, the videos to follow are the are examples that I made. Um, one looking from outside, one looking from above, and one looking from within a, within the house to see what a, a, a Draeger tracker would look like if it was stuck in my garden. And uh, as you can expect, the missus said, "Yeah, that'll be right."